Hello people, so today I'm taking you back to my village. Yes, so you know village salt. Now village salt they sweet pass for soup pass. Not allow anybody deceive you. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Pat <laughs> Yamba. That fine girl that is proud of her beauty. Hey, <laughs> I'm beautiful in and out. So it's going to be a translation video because it was explained in Yala. Yala is from Yala is from Cross River State and that is the language it was explained. So I'm going to translate it. So don't be in a hurry. Watch this video because I cannot give you anything less as in less in this YouTube studio. You know? It's still your girl but the sun here is too much and that is why I'm using a natural environment. Hey, 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 hey. So guys Come with me. Yeah, what are you doing? Eh, eh, eh. I want to dance. You want to dance? I want to dance. 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 Even I get one, I make a point about the color of the table. Even the ring is too bad. Oh, you're doing okay. Oh, you're doing okay. No harm. Oh, you're doing okay. 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 Oh, you I get my I got my name is Oga Brown. Uh, we are talking about the Salt Lake City and uh, why salt is very important for some medical reasons. Uh, in Opoma, Opa Oma means Salt Lake City. Uh, that's to say uh, a river of salt. It became the capital of Yalalogo government when Yalalogo government was created sometimes back. But the process is differs. Uh, as a child growing up in Okpa Oma, um, the capital of the other local government, uh, we understand that we have the Salt Lake and uh, we also, not just the Salt Lake, uh, we have salt wells and uh, we have salt ponds, uh, depending on wherever. And uh, one of the early things we suffered back then is that um, we have to go this times uh, to get fresh water. So our water is a bit brackish, uh, saline in nature, uh, so we are unable to fetch water like other people. But today salt is an issue and salt is very important. So how do you get salt out of this pond? Very, very traditional. One, the salt hates anything iron. Well, we are not from Yoruba, so God of Ogun uh, does not affect us here because we reject uh, the God of iron. So whenever the, anything iron goes near the well, there's going to be a roar, more like a thunderous response from uh, the sacred uh, uh, guardians of uh, the pond well. Every culture has this kind of uh, secret guardians, like the Monini River uh, in uh, Ishibori, or Bajar precisely, have that kind of a story. But how the salt becomes so very important to us? Salt is important to us because we rejected our ancestral lineage. That's the Dhamma people. To where Okoma, where we settled and have become uh, the keeper of the salt. How do you mine the salt? Very simple. But there's a technicality that uh, befuddled every average scientist or every 
uh, architect or engineer. Uh, what is that? Is the fact that you have woods in, out, in, out, in, out, down to the very last uh, bottom of the pond. The question, how do they do this? Well, we have stories of certain persons or certain spirits who were able to get themselves together and be able to prepare those woods that cost through these wells over and over and over and over until we're able to have the salt well today. Today's video is short and straight to the point. So if you see salt, don't be looking at that salt anyhow because it's cheap. The way they are getting that salt is not a small something. So guys, if you're seeing this face for the first time, do wait to subscribe, like, and comment. It's your baby girl. <laughs> Pat Ayaba. Peace out and be peaceful and Merry Christmas in advance.